Hi guys, it's Jonathan again, phoning in for my P10. Um, so, this counterfactual identity um, project was pretty interesting. Um, uh, my character was, uh, or my persona, is um, Kanst Malov. Um, the name Kanst, I guess, I've always kind of used it as a counterfactual identity as it is. Um, anytime I had to create a different um, name, nickname, uh, character in a video game. I've always used Kans as my moniker. Um, it's just, I've always just liked the way that it sounds. So I had a perfect name chosen when I found out we had to do this uh, project. Um, so I created a Facebook, a Twitter, a MySpace, and also a uh, live journal for this persona. Um, basically using them as different mediums for your displaying certain things on different social networks. Um, for Facebook, I used it as more of a company page for my um, creation, um, which was Fragments of Imagination, um, specializing in um, <clears throat> putting together a place where people can come and um, learn about writing, uh, different forms of that. Um, next thing I did was a Twitter page, and <clears throat> basically I used that as a ways and a means of networking with people, um, following um, certain uh, icons, actors um, of, of that sort that I just found interesting that the character um, Kansmalov would probably um, more than likely want to follow. Um, poetry magazines, um, establishments that showcase these types of events, and just anything having to do with writing. Um, the MySpace, MySpace blog is pretty much where I found uh, the most fun. It's just because I was able to create a, um, a place where my character could showcase his works um, <clears throat> and stories and things like that, uh, poetry, songs, and just a place where people could uh, basically go and see examples of the artist's work and what they're all about. Um, the live journal is basically used as a uh, poetry slash daily life, um, I guess, uh, a way of yeah, following my character's daily routines and habits. Um, people can go onto the live journal and just basically hear what my character had on his mind um, for that particular day, be it good or bad. So just another uh, <clears throat> platform for people to get a chance to know and understand my character and what and they're all about. Um, it was interesting creating this uh, counterfactual identity just because you get to be or say things that you wouldn't normally do or say. Uh, in normal day life so it was just a way of I don't know uh, becoming a voice um, and getting whatever ideas you have out of your head into the real world so <clears throat> having um, someone to be the face of your idea I think that's a lot of times what people are afraid of and I think with um, technology nowadays that's probably the most prevalent thing that people will notice is that you can be and say anything you want, you know, um, because there are no repercussions to what you, you know, um, say. Um, you can be completely rude and uh, loud and, and obnoxious and, you know, troll people on forums and things like that because you don't have to own up to it personally and I you know so it, given that power uh, like most things it, what do you choose to do with it um, good and bad you know there's always that dilemma and I think with technology nowadays it gives people um, the opportunity for freedom but I don't think that it's necessarily used in the best ways because um, like I said you don't have to own up to it so 
<clears throat> in that respect, uh, social media has made uh, communication, networking, um, and just our lives all together um, easier, especially for the college student, because we don't have to, um, you know, go to libraries and things like that to find any type of information when it comes to studying. It's just uh, all done on laptops nowadays. So good and bad you got to take both with but I don't know I again I just don't think um, we're headed in the right direction as far as technology because as we're getting uh, more technological and advanced as a, a people um, we're I think losing a lot of vital uh, communication skills and I don't think that's gonna be very good when uh, our technology si decides to take a poop out on us, we're not going to know how to handle ourselves, but let's hope that isn't the case. Um, I definitely think that people can exist um, solely and completely only on internet. Um, again, like I said, I've created characters, uh, World of Warcraft, I used to, you know, play that game and Cance was the moniker I gave to a character on there. And, yeah, you just kind of take on a different persona um, you know I was able to relate with my character in certain situations and even though it is just a video game you it still gives you an opportunity to uh, think outside your normal everyday box and so you know it's again it just comes down to what do you decide to do with that power do you take advantage of it or do you um, I don't know, go about it the right way, because, you know, for instance, uh, child predators, you know, they're using it to their advantage, and not for good, so, yeah, it's just a double-edged sword, you know, good and bad, um, but I mean, its project was definitely fun, um, I think it just teaches people to be careful, and to get them to think about uh, false personas and I guess truth and what really is truth. So yeah, enjoyed it and looking forward to the graffiti wall. So talk to you guys later. And that's me signing out. Bye.